Howdy, Disco Citizens, and Yahoo! Enter the steamy depths of the Amazon of alternative pop rock and roll. I'm Chris Strauss, and once again, I get to be your yeoman purser on the cruise ship What? Today, we're setting sail for fun and frivolity with our special guest, those ginchy gals and Gaia Power Pop, Lily Liver. Also guest starring, media wonderkin, Simon Peter. So sit back, relax, take a healthy breath of fresh sea air, because here comes Lily Liver.
I have an idea. What do you say you and I head down to the roadside inn and we'll talk with that rising media superstar, Simon Peter? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Uh, one of the things that, uh, that uh, we both really have in common is a real love of uh, the pop scene. And um, just a lot of the, a lot of the different stuff that's going on. Not the, uh, not just the noise, grungy stuff that's coming out of AMRAP, which is really wonderful. But that's the stuff that gets a lot of attention already. But this, uh, this pop explosion, really, this uh, new punk rock for the '90s. Yeah, well, I mean, Minneapolis has always been the type of thing where they're not afraid to uh, experiment. And so calling it the pop scene, you know, well. Yeah, it's a good way to describe it, but, um, you know, seven years ago they were, they were distorting guitars, you know, long before they developed the word grunge. And um, now, I mean, that's been done a lot, and uh, there's experimentation, and some of the best, newest bands right now are all concentrating a lot on, on um, how you can screw around with, you know, melody and... Um, and like the hang-ups. Yeah, the hang-ups sort of, uh, I mean, <clears throat> in the past year and a half, they've improved about 700% and uh, really have sort of taken the credit as kind of the leaders of it, you know. That's, I mean, I mean, not leaders, but they seem to have gotten the most appreciation, even though I, I'd probably only put them in second place myself. <laughs> Who would you put in first place? Well, the the best band in Minneapolis, circa 1990-something, is the Blue Up. And um, although they have not not been around, they haven't been playing out for about nine months now, they've kind of they've kind of disappeared. But when they come back, I'm, I'm extremely excited about that. And I'm well, kind of waiting, like, when they're going to... When that record hits, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens, because I think, you know... Either it's going to do okay and nobody's going to really care or things are just going to blow up and we're going to have lots no of guys. Pun. What? No pun. So uh, so let's talk about your show, Off the Record. The one that wins it on. It's on Friday afternoons from 3 to 5 p.m. It has been for since pretty much since we've gone on. We've done about 14 shows so far. We've got such a, a huge facility over at the KUM uh, studios. That we, you know, we've got to have local bands on. You know, uh, we've got to have bands. You know, you, be a laboratory. You know, be be something special. Be be radio. You know, like something exciting, instead of just you know the same old planned format. You know that you get on radio. One, two, three, four. Why are you always picking on me? Why are you always telling on me? Why are you always blaming? Stop, please, whatever you're doing. 
don't change the channel. Please stay here. It's important. We need you. I love you, man. One, two, three, four. You're shooting in your line.
Let's say we drop off to the good old roadside inn again and chat with our dear friends, Lily Liver. Look on the back of the menu, it might be on the <laughs> No, but it says brown meatballs in hot fat in a large skillet. Mm -hmm. Just like mom used to make. I think I yeah. better turn, turn this around. over. Brown so meatballs in hot all fat? That? Yeah. Ooh, we all have the capability to read. <laughs> uh, no, yeah, because I'll, I'll go crazy on the recipes. <laughs> Yeah, I like to cook fish sticks and tater tots. <laughs> and toast. <laughs> and toast. The, the toast. whole Mrs. Peter Paul Bertone. line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not so good at cooking. I don't know. And you don't like cooked fruit. But my mom is really good at cooking. But you're not. That's no, right. not so good. So in case you thought cooking was hereditary, throw that one out the window. <laughs> we have lots of dinner it must parties. Must have been out playing. Her mom does all the cooking for us. We don't have to do anything except for call people and tell Except for that one big plate of fish sticks and tater tots. <laughs> we buy the beer. You have to have ketchup too. <laughs> I just learned to like ketchup though, because I didn't like ketchup for a long time. But now, but now it's an hors d'oeuvre at your house. You can... So anyway. So anyway. <laughs> ah. So, Chris, what brings you to the old-style family cafe here? Well, this would be uh, the uh, roadside inn. You may have missed it on the doorway when we uh, when we came in in the uh, in the Whatmobile. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> what is the Whatmobile? I lied. I made that up. A big eighteen-wheeler out front. <laughs> You know, this isn't an interview because there's no cameras here. We're just <laughs> chatting. True. Luckily, we're there's naturally no chatting. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank Otherwise, God. We, uh, like this a lot. Yeah, he'd be sweating more, I guess. <laughs> yeah, as like opposed to the normal profuse. Uh... I think it was Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. Pretty sure. But I don't watch Yosemite Sam, so I But it was just us. It wasn't one that we regularly do. The point of the story is. The point is, somebody, you lily liver sap sucker, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And I was like, lily liver. Okay, let's just use it for tonight and we can change it if we want. <laughs> exactly. Then someone we'll spray painted it words, really. on the wall at in the basement of the party. Yeah, so <laughs> really? we decided that we couldn't change it. That's when they were calling you Missy. Well, well, now that we've been arrested for know vandalism, I, I guess we're stuck. <laughs> Once it's on the wall, you know, there's no going back. What? Missy, <laughs> you haven't gotten to talk. And you're having an allergic reaction to dairy products. So I think it's the perfect time to ask you, what made you come upon the lily liver sound? Oh, gosh. It was mm -hmm. whatever it came out. Came out. I don't think there was a certain sound that we were looking for or anything. It just came out. It was like a collaboration there. I don't think that we I think tried. It's like, I think it's like a medium ground between what we listen to and what we're like physically capable of. You know, <laughs> really, because honestly, you know, nobody's going to mistake us for a pro band. Let me cry on the phone. 
You know, if you've loved watching Lily Liver as much as I know I have, you're probably going to want to run right down to your local record shop to pick up their new single. It's on Skinny Girl Records, and it's called Queen of the Ball. And it's really, really, really good. What's, what, what are the big records around the, uh, the house of, uh, of Liver Lily? <laughs> oh Could you ask that again? Lefty liver? Just the last part, the name part. <laughs> the, liver the liver lily? lily? <laughs> yeah. Ask um, it again. It's, uh, no Motley Crue. Motley Crue, for sure. Like Lots old, old, old Motley Crue. So old heavy fast. metal. No, no, no. Doctor Feel Good? Yes. No, not, not anything. Rush. Uh, could you ask Rob this question of, about anything that I like? Could you ask her? Tell <laughs> hey, you? Rob, what is Missy really Missy's like? Missy's really into the Juliana Hatfield 3. <laughs> she was really taken by the Liz Fair show. Yeah. No, I don't know. I mean, it's like your melodic punk rock, you know, your stuff Zappy things. Stuff. Yeah, your, I don't know. <laughs> anything that's Yeah, man, you don't know. I know that, them. That, you know, band. Um, you know, like 70s punk rock and then all the people who are inspired by that who play like alternative rock nowadays, you know. Yeah, basic... it's not, but not like angry rock. It's not. Yeah, it's angry, not. You know, we're not. It's not angry, angry rock, heavy obviously. metal. It's not angry. Anything punk rock. that makes you like smile. Yeah. Which yeah. is, you know, it's or hard anything. for me because I don't smile very often. But. <laughs> no, I believe your nickname on the scene is Wump. <laughs> You can see. I do like Super Chunk a lot. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> She's <laughs> the only one I, that I know who has a Super Chunk hat. Yeah, you have a Super Chunk. The stocking chunk. hat. It so. wasn't present, but that's true. But but that's but the I presence that you get a reflection of your personality. So exactly. So anyway, you're happy music. Good. It's a good hat. It's purple and has stars on it. <laughs> and it says Super <laughs> Chunk. Hey, how can you beat that? And it's warm too. Hopefully. I also have a, a, a hat that says Beacon Kicks Ass. Yeah. I got like, this is kind of like a blow to me. Like I got five hats as gifts this year or something. <laughs> it was kind of like, well, what are you guys Adam. trying to tell me? You know, <laughs> do I need a haircut? Cut your well, you know, what's the deal? It's bad hair. Wear I, a hat. But it's not so bad. It's fine here. <laughs> it is fine. It's, 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 it's it lovely is fine. It's thin. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a very suitable haircut for you. Boy, oh, there's an anti cop <laughs> There was another subject, right? Yeah, well, I was okay. going to let you guys plug your single. Just to me, because there's no one here and there are no cameras. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's called have? Skinny Girl Records? It's called Skinny Girl Records. And what's the song? Um, the A side is called Queen of the Ball, and the B side is Movie Star. Definitely liver. Queen of the Ball. Lefty Lucy, you said? No, I said except, Lefty except Lizard. No, no, oh, wait. Lefty no. Lizard? Left, <laughs> left Guzzard? Left yeah. Guzzard. Left Lounge Guzzard. Lilies. No, wait. Oh, my gosh. They're big. Yeah. So it'll be, out, uh, it'll be out in a record store near you. I have to yeah. just go buy it. Go buy it now. Beg for it. Yeah. yeah. We're not Lefty Lucy, though. We have been confused yeah. for that. Yeah.
wish I was you. Wish I was you. Well, mateys, the ship is pulling into the port, and it's time to bid a fond aloha to our newfound friends, Lily Liver, and not to forget our special amigo, Simon Peter. And as usual, our undying gratitude to those fine, fine folks at Total Music Systems. Thanks for watching, and keep on keeping on. I'm Chris Strouth, and we'll see you next time on What?